I'd like to know if anybody would like to talk about specific challenges you faced as a woman when you were working at the site. I know a few of you alluded to that. Um, Amber, a little bit, and yeah. Marie, would you like to? <laughs> would you like to give us a specific sure. instance? Um, I think one of the things I, 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 when I first came to the job site, um, everything is so spread out, and there's so many different tools that are needed to do the job. And um, I remember them giving me all the broken stuff, <laughs> and I had to figure out how to make everything work and have a perfect weld with broken supplies. And I remember this one time where um, I, needed, I, needed a, I needed to hook onto an electrical cord. And my cord was maybe about, I want to say probably about five feet too short. And there was this one guy, he had all of this, you know, all of this, this extension cord. And he was right next to where he had to plug in. And uh, I remember asking him, can I, can I hook onto your cord and then I'll hook you up? And he said, no. <laughs> he said, no, and then just walked away. And I just remember feeling so angry, and I just, I pulled the, I pulled the cord that I had, and I was just, I was kind of like clanking around. I was angry, and I remember them coming at me like, you know, um, you're, you're, you're angry, and you're dangerous, and we don't want you here, and if you keep it up, you know, you have a bad attitude. And I'm like, I have a bad attitude. I have a bad attitude, but I needed help, and I needed to get it done, and I remember having to figure out how to do it all by myself. And eventually I did. It took me maybe a couple of months to kind of get, you know, get acclimated and know that I need to have a certain amount of cord, I need to have a certain amount of things. So it, it, was, it, was, I, it was unfriendly, but I made it work. And after a while, and after I've proved myself a little bit and some of my wealth started passing, I got a little bit of respect from it. And, I'm actually friends with these guys now, you know, but it was rough at first. First and foremost, I want to say that uh, being an operating engineer for Local 15, I've had an um, enormous amount of support. Um, one of the challenges I did have was, though, uh, trying to find a bathroom. Uh, remember, I was out on the West Side Highway, so that was my biggest challenge was trying to find a bathroom. <laughs> Um, I think one of the biggest challenges that we faced was um, yeah, the emotional development of the site and, and how many people had a vested stake. Being a woman, I think I had more empathy um, of sort of understanding that it was that was a seat at the table. And whether it was disruptive or whether it was um, a forceful sort of advocate that worked with us, um, it was a challenge. But I think we en I ended up embracing it and saying, okay, if it gets derailed, We'll regroup and we'll come back the next time. And I think it really added some determination, whereas uh, there was a lot of frustration around that. Um, but I think coming at it from a perspective of, um, you know, from everything that I, I, I am as a woman and, and I grew up with it, it was very um, important to just have an understanding of that, that if progress got derailed, we would get it back on track. And that was okay. 